Hey yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna give you guys a breakdown of exactly what I would do if I had to restart my cybersecurity career from scratch in 2024. Now, this is a common question that I get to ask a lot of times, especially for those people who are looking to break into the industry. So with that being said, guys, if you're new to the channel, my name is Ben and I make videos about cybersecurity and my career and my journey and my experiences throughout my time in cybersecurity. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to drop me a like for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'd love to have you guys join the family. We're on our way to 50,000 subscribers. Also, if you guys want more short form content and lifestyle content, be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Cyber with Ben. With that being said, though, guys, let's go ahead and get right into the video. So I just finished my first year working in cybersecurity full time and it kind of had me thinking what I would do if I had to restart my cybersecurity career from scratch. So thinking about this sort of roadmap that I'm about to explain to you, I'm going to be having no experience whatsoever and no background in cybersecurity. So with that said, the first thing that I would start off with is going to be getting my certification using the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate. Uh, the reason why I say that is because first of all, it's going to be extremely affordable. You pay on a monthly basis. I believe it's $49 per month and you only pay for how much you use the certification and the course for. So for example, if you finish it in one month, you're only going to pay $49. So it's extremely affordable and the payment plan is flexible. On top of that, you don't need to have any prior experience when it comes to IT or cybersecurity to get started. So that's going to be a great way for me to get my foot in the door and start learning the foundations of cybersecurity. The Google cybersecurity certificate itself is comprised of eight different courses that go over eight different concepts in cybersecurity and they give you a really good rundown of exactly how those things work and it's taught by Google professionals. It goes over things like network security using Linux and SQL and also automating different tasks with Python which is overall some really important skills to have when going into cybersecurity and it's really going to help you be able to make an impact from the beginning on day one of your first cybersecurity job. And I believe once you complete this certificate you also get a discount code that you can use on the security plus exam. So if you guys want to check out this certificate I'll leave a link in the description below. So the next thing that I would do after getting my Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificates is that I'd start looking into getting the Security Plus Certification. The Security Plus Certification is going to be one of the most popular entry-level cybersecurity certificates on the market right now, and it's recognized widely throughout the cybersecurity industry. A lot of employers for entry-level cybersecurity jobs are going to expect you to have the Security Plus Certification on your resume when you are applying. So it covers a wide range, but doesn't really go in depth, but that's the reason why it's going to be an entry-level cybersecurity security certificates and we'll talk about a little bit later on in the video about branching into those more advanced level certifications. I'm going to leave a link in the description below that has the security plus exam objective so feel free to check that out and also if you're interested to learn more exactly how I was able to pass the security plus exam in nine days feel free to check out the video that I'll leave in the description below as well. So after getting the Security Plus certification from CompTIA, I'll next look into the Network Plus certification also from CompTIA. A lot of times people prefer getting the Network Plus before getting the Security Plus certification, but it's gonna be up to your own personal preference. In my opinion, I don't think it makes a huge difference. So the reason why I mentioned the Network Plus certification is because in cybersecurity, it involves so many different aspects and it's gonna help you a lot when it comes to your networking knowledge. As someone working in cybersecurity, you're gonna to have to have a basic understanding, a foundational understanding of networking concepts and understanding how different computers work and communicate with each other, how data flows and things of that nature. So getting a good understanding of networking fundamentals from the Network Plus certification is going to give you a huge boost when it comes to your first entry level job in cybersecurity. So after those three certifications, I look to get an entry level cloud certification. So for me personally, I would lean more into the AWS Cloud Practitioner certification just because more companies are using AWS infrastructure. Feel free to check out my video where I talk about entry-level cloud certifications. I'll leave a link in the description below as well. So your main choices when it comes to these certifications is going to be the AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification or the AZ-900 from Microsoft. Both of these entry-level certifications are going to teach you the basics and the foundations of cloud computing. So they're going to teach you exactly how cloud computing works, the different services from each of these vendors, and things of that sort. And because so many companies and employers nowadays have some form of cloud computing and cloud infrastructure in place, having this 
on your resume is going to be so influential and impactful when it comes to finding your first job in cybersecurity. If you guys want to learn exactly how I was able to pass the AWS Cloud Practitioner exam in seven days, I'll also link that in the description below. So after getting these four certifications, I would look to start developing my own personal projects and my own personal portfolio and start developing my resume to start applying for entry level jobs and also internships. I made an Instagram reel and also a YouTube short talking about some ideas for cybersecurity projects for beginners. So make sure you guys check that out. I'll also leave that in the description below. So after developing some personal projects and adding those to my resume and beginning to apply for internships and full-time jobs, while I'm doing this, I'll start to look into some more advanced level certifications that align directly with what I want to do in cybersecurity. So for example, if I'm someone who wants to get a SOC analyst role, so someone who works in the security operations center, triaging logs, maintaining alerts, and things of that sort, I will look into the Blue Team Level 1 certification. It's going to be an entry-level certification for those looking to get some SOC experience and also some hands-on lab experience experience. I passed this certification a few months ago, so feel free to check out that video as well. Another example would be if I'm looking to get into the red team or penetration testing, maybe I'd look into the PJPT offered by TCM Security. That is also going to be the equivalent of a blue team level one, just the red team version from a good company. Both of these certifications are going to be giving you a foundational understanding of blue team and red team respectively, and it's going to give you a good foundation of both of those aspects. So those are two examples of some more advanced level certifications for different aspects in cybersecurity. But if you want to apply for a specific role or specific niche in cybersecurity, make sure you guys look into some more advanced level certifications and start studying for those while you're applying for full-time jobs and internships. So that is going to be it in terms of the roadmap for these different certifications that I would take to try and break into the industry again from scratch. But one thing I wanted to reiterate is that a lot of times certifications are great to have, especially for your resume, but skills are going to be your main priority. So as someone looking to break into the industry, certifications are going to be a great way for you to make your resume look better and look more attractive to employers. So these certifications are going to get you maybe an internship or maybe your foot in the door. But a lot of times you don't want to neglect just trying to get certifications. You also want to prioritize really staying in the moment when you're getting the certifications, really learning these different foundational basic concepts in cybersecurity, and don't just rush through them. Make sure you really understand what you're learning, what you're ingesting. So don't get complacent just because you get an entry level job. Make sure you guys continue developing and continue building your skills because that's going to be extremely crucial, especially working in the cybersecurity industry. With that being said, though, guys, that is going to be my piece of advice and also my roadmap if I had to restart my career in 2024. If you guys found some insight in this video, please go ahead and drop me a like. And also, if you're new to the channel and you're not subscribed already and you're watching this video, what are you guys doing, man? Just go ahead and hit subscribe and join the family. We're on our way to 50,000 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy. Also, if you guys want some more short form content and lifestyle content, feel free to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Cyber with Ben. With that being said, though, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.